So it has been announced that EA is in the process of developing three new Star Wars games. Now, one of them has been rumored for a while, which is the sequel to Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, but it has been made official that there is a sequel that's in the works for Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, and it's due out for release uh, no later than early next year in 2023. But aside from that, uh, Respawn is also making another Star Wars game, but it's going to be a first-person shooter, which sounds pretty exciting to me. You know, if it's half as good as uh, Star Wars Republic Commando, then I'm all for it. Depending on, you know, what it is and what the time period is, you know, of it, as far as, like, where it falls in the, uh, the Star Wars timeline. And the third game is a strategy game, which isn't as exciting. Uh, it's from former XCOM developers, which doesn't really mean shit, you know. Because the actual development studio behind the XCOM games is also making that, uh, that Marvel's Midnight Suns mess. And that looks about as interesting as, you know, a new Final Fantasy game. As far as these, uh, these three new games go, uh, two of them sound pretty promising. Uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order actually was a, a pretty damn good game. Uh, there were some technical issues that game had uh, that I feel that they could have, you know, rectified before release. But it wasn't anything that was, you know, too egregious. And another good sign is that they're keeping the same game director, uh, Stig Asmussen, who is uh, arguably one of the best video game directors in the industry. You know, his most famous game would be uh, God of War 3. And he's worked on the, the original Fallen Order. The next entry in the Star Wars Jedi series is something I'm looking forward to, uh, especially with his name being attached to it. Uh, the first person shooter, however, is being directed by uh, Peter Hirschman, and I'm not exactly sure what games he's worked on. Uh, that's something I would have to search up. The studio that's working on the strategy game is Bit Reactor, and Bit Reactor is a, a new development studio that was formed by uh, Fire Axis uh, developers. I mean, it, 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 sounds, it sounds pretty good to me. You know, EA, they're providing different uh, genres of, of games for, you know, Star Wars, the Star Wars license. You know, the, the Jedi uh, Fallen Order sequel, um, I have no doubts that's going to turn out to be a good game. The first person shooter, um, we'll have to see, you know, what it turns out to be. But unless it, it's going to be some kind of, you know, games as a service uh, title or whatever. You know, I have faith that that's going to turn out to be pretty decent as well. The strategy game is up in the air, so I have to see how that goes. And these aren't the only Star Wars games that are in development right now. Uh, EA, they lost their um, their exclusivity license or, you know, their that deal between them and Disney um, to develop Star Wars games exclusively under EA. That, that deal has uh, long since evaporated. Uh, right now, Ubisoft, they're making an open-world Star Wars game. We don't know what it's going to be or what it's called. They haven't revealed it just yet, but they're in the process of making their own uh, open-world Star Wars game. Hopefully, it's not a clone of Assassin's Creed or Watch Dogs just with the Star Wars skin. But I wouldn't put it past them to uh, go that direction. And then there's Star Wars Eclipse, which is being developed by Quantic Dream who is uh, best known for their interactive drama games, you know, with Heavy Rain, Beyond Two Souls, and uh, Detroit Become Human, and Indigo Prophecy. There's quite a few Star Wars games that's in development. However, one that is not in development is Star Wars Battlefront 3, and I made a post about this over a month ago, uh, but I didn't reveal what the game was that I was disappointed wasn't being made, um, wasn't in development, and uh, the game I was referring to in that post is Star Wars Battlefront 3. Unfortunately, uh, EA has decided that they're not going to make uh, Star Wars Battlefront 3. And the reason that they gave is pretty lazy. Scrolling down here, basically the reason they said that it's not profitable uh, to make Star Wars Battlefront 3 is due to licensing costs. Um, but that's not the real reason why they're not making Battlefront 3. The real reason they're not making Battlefront 3 is because if, if you look at the uh, the EA Star Wars Battlefront games, they're clearly, uh, you know, online multiplayer, you know, games as a service 
titles. That's basically what they are. The second game less so than, than the first. But if you look at you know what those games are, and then if you look at the actual loot box controversy with Star Wars Battlefront 2, which sparked a, an industry-wide debate, and it forced EA to remove, you know, permanently remove the loot boxes and the microtransactions from that game and actually uh, get DICE to actually, you know, fix or not really fix what was wrong with it, but to improve what was already there because the, the game itself was fine. The problem was the loot boxes and the, the microtransactions and whatnot. And then they steadily released uh, updates over time to improve, you know, what was already there, which was solid. You know, taking a look at you know, what happened with Star's Battlefront 2, it's clear that EA won't be able to monetize the game through the use of microtransactions and loot boxes. So it's not necessarily that they can't afford to make a Battlefront 3. They certainly could, especially given, you know, the, the sales quota of, you know, what these games have sold upon release. Fans would definitely invest in a Star's Battlefront 3 from EA. But because EA wouldn't be able to pull the same... Uh, bullshit anti-consumer practices that they tried to pull with uh, Battlefront 2, they don't see it as being profitable to, uh, you know, spend money to develop a Battlefront 3. So that's the real reason why Battlefront 3 isn't going to be made, at least uh, under EA. And it's uh, unlikely at this point that, uh, you know, we'll ever see a Star Wars Battlefront 3, which, which sucks. Um, I think Star Wars fans uh, definitely deserve to see a Star Wars Battlefront 3. I'm not sure what's going to happen to that franchise or if EA, you know, may change their mind. Like how they uh, they initially said that they wouldn't, wouldn't do a remaster of the, uh, you know, the Mass Effect trilogy. And they changed their mind on that once uh, Andromeda, you know, failed. So anything is possible. So that's what I have to say about the disappointing news with uh, Star Wars Battlefront 3. Hell, um, you know, if they want, they could make uh, another pod racing game. You know, that that's very much possible. I'd invest in that, personally. You know, the, the possibilities with the Star Wars license are basically endless. But as far as these new games go, I'm looking forward to at least two out of, out of the three. Which is the sequel to Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order and the upcoming first-person shooter from Respawn. The strategy game... You know, I'm not tossing out the idea that I'll be interested in it. After all, I don't know what it is at this point in time. So I'll keep my eye out for when they do reveal, you know, whatever it is that uh, Bit Reactor is developing. But, you know, hopefully it'll be worth, uh, it'll, it'll be worth the time. Hopefully it'll be better than that Midnight Suns crap. Let's see what the comments have to say here. Someone wants a remake of Empire at War. Yeah. I don't think that's going to happen. So this person says he misses when Star Wars games were meant to be fun and relaxing. Currently, project decisions are all about money and many times ignore customers' best interests. You mean like all modern video games, right? This is a business, goddammit. These companies aren't making these games, you know, for your enjoyment. They're making them to make money, to make a profit. Why do you think they keep whoring uh, Souls-like games? Pretty sad when the only Star Wars game that will actually come out is the Lego game. Seriously, all three of these games will likely either get cancelled or supremely screwed by EA in some form or another. Some some of these uh, EA sucks mouth breathers are just fucking like dumb as hell. EA has actually released some, some pretty good Star Wars games. The only one that was truly shit was uh, the, the 2015 reboot of Battlefront. Battlefront 2... You know, it had its issues when it first came out, but the issues were related to the monetization, not the gameplay itself. After they got rid of the monetization and released a bunch of patches for it, it actually turned out to be a pretty damn good game. And Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order was great, too. Uh, that Rogue Squadrons game, you know, that was, that was pretty decent. But clearly this motherfucker doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. Like when he mentions, uh, and I don't mean loot boxes or any of that crap that EA will likely put into it. Did the first Fallen Order have loot boxes in it? No. So why, why would they put loot boxes in the sequel? Some of these people, man, are just fucking beyond sad. We have people on these gaming websites that don't know that uh, EA no longer has complete control of the Star Wars license. We have people that think uh, LucasArts is, is still alive when uh, 
That studio died years ago. <laughs> Who the fuck are these people? Battlefront 1 and 2 sold a combined 33 million, but a Battlefront 3 would need to sell 20% more to make some money because of the licensing deal with Disney. That sounds like a real shit deal. Yeah, I'm not sure where uh, EA got those numbers from. It's 20% right here. I'm not sure where, where that came from. So yeah, the, the comments are pretty worthless on, uh, on GameSpot, as usual. But like I said, I'm looking forward to these, uh, you know, to these Star Wars games and seeing what EA has to offer. There's also the, uh, the Knights of the Old Republic remake that I forgot to mention. That's also in development. Uh, there's that, uh, that Ubisoft open world Star Wars game. That's the one that I'm concerned with. That's the one I'm concerned about. Uh, I don't have any faith that Ubisoft will make uh, a good Star Wars game. None. Uh, their Star Wars uh, Eclipse, I'm looking forward to seeing what Quantic Dream does with that, especially, you know, given the, uh, you know, where, where they've placed it in the Star Wars timeline during the days of the Old Republic. So that's something to look forward to because that's not a time period that's explored too often in Star Wars media. So I'm looking forward to that one. So there's quite a bit to look forward to when it comes to Star Wars in gaming.